Hi there. Well, today we're going to be having a look at the Apollo PLT-1 battery version. And this has been really interesting for me, learning all about sleep mode in ESP Hub. So the PLT-1 is designed to measure multiple different things. It can measure, first of all, the soil moisture, the air temperature, humidity, lux and UV. It's also got a piezo buzzer and an addressable RGB that can be used for making announcements. And there's also an optional soil temperature probe that can be added on. Now, the big thing to bear in mind with this device is that the battery is not included. And also, this device will not be charging via the USB cable. You need a separate battery charger to charge this battery up. Now they're estimating with the 18650 cell an up to six months battery life based on having the default sleep settings. Another cool thing you can do is download the flower card and the open plant book, which allow you to actually download plant information and then you can compare the data that your sensors are bringing in against what the requirements are for that specific plant. I'll leave a link in the description below to Bearded Tinker's explanation of how this works. So having a close look at the device, you can see that it's got a nice green 3D printed case and they do offer the files for you to print your own cases if you want a different color. Um, the sensor itself is a capacitive soil sensor and you can see they've coated it in a clear coat to stop any moisture getting in here and affecting the device long term. If you look at the side of the device here, we've got our plug, which can be used to plug in this additional soil temperature sensor. Um, we've also got two buttons. We've got a reset on this side and we've got a boot button on this side. And then we've got a USB-C connector, which can be used to power the device. Having a look inside, we've got our 18650 cell. I've got a 2600 milliamp hour cell. On the other side, ESP32, we've got our RGB LED, we've got our temperature and humidity sensor, and our USB-C and the plug barrel jack plug for that soil temperature sensor. So once we've adopted into Home Assistant, we've got access to all of these entities. We've got our accessory power, we've got our RGB light, which is fully controllable. Then we've got our air humidity, temperature, the battery level and voltage, light level and UV index. We've got the soil moisture, and then we've also got the soil temperature if you plug in that additional probe. You may need to offset the humidity and air temperature to compensate for the heat created by the ESP32. Now let's talk about the sleep mode. So we've got a couple of settings here. We've got the run duration. So this is how long the ESP32 will actually start up and run and send us information back to Home Assistant. Then we've got the sleep duration. So currently it's defaulted at 12, you can change that, but 12 hours and 60 seconds will give you the optimum life of the battery they're suggesting about six months, which is pretty cool. So in order to set this up, it's really important, otherwise this won't pr uh, work properly. You need to have the accessory power and the RGB light switched off, as well as the sleep after connecting. Then all we do is we go prevent sleep, and that will now put it into the sleep mode, and it will now wait for 12 hours. So if we go along here now, we can see that it has been disconnected, and now it will wait for 12 hours. Now what's important to bear in mind is that during this time, you will not have access to the sensor data because the system is not connected. So you'll see here that the information, we've got this 12 hour gap between sensor data. In order to make the most of the sensor, I've created two automations. The first one basically has a look at when the device wakes up. So what I've done is I've selected the plant and I've said once it's online and connected. Um, what I've done then is I've said check to see what the soil moisture is. If it's below 60%, then send me a message, please water me, help. So that is what's gonna tell me about the watering. The second one is the battery. So I wanna know if my battery is running low and I need to pull out and charge it. So once again, once it comes online, check to see 
where the battery is. If it's below 3.2 volts, then send a notification, please charge me. So first of all, I must give a huge shout out to the guys at Apollo. These guys are offering the best customer service that I have ever experienced. They are available on their Discord, it seems like 24 seven. You go on there, you ask a question, they're super responsive. Secondly, I have learned so much with this device, playing around with ESP Home and the sleep mode and a battery. So I really look forward to seeing more devices coming out with this option. I hope you've enjoyed this video. If you have, please give me a comment in the description below. And as well, if you like my content, please like and subscribe, and I'll see you again soon. Bye for now. Oh,